Segment three, Israel and the United States. From as we sit here taping, this is the current issue of commentary, the May 2010 issue of commentary. Mr. President, your animus is showing, is your lead essay, John, as editor of commentary. I have to confess, you write, that the reports of President Obama's conduct toward Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu during their deliberately unphotographed White House meeting in March came as a cold shock to me. We still don't know quite what happened, but it appears that the president came into the room with a list of unilateral demands, that he grew impatient with Netanyahu's answers, and that he left unceremoniously by claiming he was going to have dinner with his wife and kids, but that he would, quote, be around in case the prime minister, quote, changed his tune, close quote. What on earth is happening between the United States and Israel? Well, and, that is... and what does the Obama administration understand itself to be doing? The Obama administration possesses, in my view, a view of um, uh, the situation in the Middle East according to which there is what might be considered um, uh, an original sin or something very close to an original sin. It used to be in the world of uh, uh, the liberal imagination of, of foreign policy that the original sin was Western imperialism in right. places like this. Okay, so the West has not had an imperial, real, an, really an imperial presence, except for our regency in Iraq, has not had an imperial presence in the Middle East since 1967, 1968. The new original sin is uh, the Israeli um, uh, occupation of Palestinian lands. And according to this idea, radiating outward from this uh, is the entire chronic instability of the Middle East, including hostility toward the United States, all has its root in this one kernel uh, of uh, disorder and decay. Now, Look, that I just that want to make sure I understand you yes. in, in, in one greater degree of detail. Yeah. 67 war, Israel occupies, the well, the Sinai, but that's gone back to Israel. Right. Gaza Strip, West Bank, mm -hmm. Golan Heights. Right. All three are included as, as part of this sort of original sin. Yes. All right. Well, the Golan Heights less. Separate case. All right. right. So you have you have these you have these three simple facts. You have a, you have a, a populace uh, of of, uh, of of Arabs who who live within uh, Israel's borders uh, after the uh, armistice of 1949 and are citizens of Israel. That's about a million. Then you have the uh, Palestinians who live in the West Bank, who became. Um, uh, who, uh, which Israel occupied, uh, took from Jordan in the '67 war, and the million and a half Palestinians who live in Gaza, um, which is a, which was essentially deemed a kind of um, uh, gigantic refugee camp. Right. It was under e Egypt's aegis, but sort of run by the uh, UN Refugee Commission. Um, and so there are these, and the Golan Heights is a, was, a, was a land in Syria that itself has no clear provenance and doesn't, wasn't and it's particularly fairly populated. Thin, it's thinly populated. And right, it's not right, very, right, though it's right. now quite populated by Israelis, but it's thinly right. populated and more of a strategic, uh, it's uh, military, occupied as a military strategic thing. So the idea is that if you, and, and if you can somehow solve the uh, Israeli-Palestinian problem um, a wave of, uh, of Pacific feeling will emanate outward from Jerusalem through the entire Middle East. And um, the uh, hostility and disorder and decay that is all caused by, uh, by this uh, original sin will somehow abate, and particularly anti-American feeling will abate. Now, um, that is an idea uh, that, is, that has a, a great deal of longstanding, uh, and I, I think it is the predominant view in Europe. It has not been the view of the United States. It is now the view of the United States. John, let me, so that you can, uh, I think this is a, the neatest way of drawing sort of the, the counter, or, or uh, permitting you to present the counter argument. <clears throat> 1948, no state of Israel. We do what Ahmadinejad, Israel gets created in Schleswig-Holstein, or, or let's, say, let's say Rhode Island. Yeah. Let's say Rhode Island becomes the Jewish homeland. Mm -hmm. In other words, 
There is no Jewish presence in the Middle East whatsoever. Right. How would things be different today? Well, they would not be very different. I mean, they would not be different in, in terms of the issues that matter most to us in this sense. Um, uh, it would still be the case that a Wahhabist regime in Saudi Arabia would be sitting atop the world's largest oil reserve. It would still be the case... Uh, and that the regime would be, the, the, the kingdom would be exporting Wahhabism as fast as it could that's around right. the world. It would still be the case that, uh, that, the, uh, that an, uh, uh, there would have been an Iranian revolution in 1979 bringing uh, a, uh, you know, a Shiite theocracy uh, into, in, in, into power. Uh, it would still be the case that uh, that uh, uh, Syria would be dominated by a, a um, by a mil uh, by a military dictatorship uh, uh, run by someone who is in a minority uh, group and to keep his sway uh, runs a totalitarian state. It would still be the case that the uh, Islamic Brotherhood. Uh, would have assassinated, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood would have assassinated uh, Anwar Sadat and that uh, Hosni Mubarak would be in power in Egypt. All of these major facts of life bear, have no relation whatsoever to, and Saddam Hussein would have come to power uh, in 1969 and, uh, and gone to war with Iran in 19, 1980. Um, and invaded Kuwait. And invaded Kuwait. None of these has anything whatsoever to do, and Al-Qaeda, which rose in response to the um, uh, positioning of American troops in Saudi Arabia after the first Gulf War, Al-Qaeda would still have been created. So <coughs> what the problem for the United States and for the world in the Israeli-Palestinian circumstance is that it engenders harsh feelings toward Israel and that America, as Israel's primary ally, um, is therefore, therefore becomes a kind of um, uh, offshoot of that of that of that hostility. 